It's a pleasure to be with you. Looking back in history is always an interesting thing to do. In 1931, in a commune in coastal Provence, France, saint henri sous mer during a four-month period, Aldous Huxley wrote a classic book, one that is typically ranked near the top of the best English language novels in the 20th century, Brave New World. It's about a futuristic world state which winds up being dystopian, dystopian, where there is environmental engineering to fashion an intelligence-based social hierarchy. One wonders about the parallels today. We should remember that the word utopian describes a society that is conceived to be perfect. In contrast, dystopian is just the opposite. It is dehumanizing and it is unpleasant. Dehumanizing and unpleasant. What could be more dehumanizing than not being by the bedside of your loved one? Perhaps your aging parents who might be dying alone in a CCU on ventilatory sport, and you, their child or loved one, never being able to come into the hospital room to be with them because of this pandemic, a dystopian brave new world. On the other hand, during these tough times, people like you from all over the world are able to gather virtually, like you are right now, to find strategies of care for patients with cardiovascular disease, from heart disease with atherosclerosis, to patients with heart failure, debilitating heart failure, to those with structural heart disease or congenital heart disease. And this group gathered together includes cardiologists and surgeons and nursing and critical care physicians and pharmacists and administrators and geriatricians and infectious disease virology experts, among others. All of you are stakeholders. All of us are stakeholders in advancing science and expanding the basis for treatments of care. And that's what you are all about at this wonderful meeting to advance science, expand the basis for treatments of care. I hope you have a wonderful, full meeting, learning from others, developing approaches, taking up the cudgel to beat this, to improve and optimize care for all. And so I would say for all of you, be well, stay well, do what you do best, and succeed in those things you do. Thank you.